Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening, and the day is almost the darkness and shine within your people here. Joyous light of heavenly glory, loving glow of God's own
presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. These open the handles to the song. 119 verses 1 through 16. The psalm will be read responsively by the whole verse. Happy are they whose way is blameless, who follow the teaching of the Lord. Happy are they who observe your decrees and seek you with all their hearts. Who never do any wrong, but always walk in your ways. You lay down your commandments that we should fully keep them. Oh, that my ways were made so direct that I might keep your statutes. Then I should not be put to shame when I regard all your commandments. I will thank you with a true heart when I have learned your righteous judgments. I will keep your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. How shall the young keep their way clean? By keeping to your word. With my whole heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commandments. I treasure your promise in my heart that I may not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Instruct me in your statutes. With my lips I recite all the judgments of your mouth. I take greater delight in the way of your decrees than in all manner of riches. I will meditate on your commandments and give attention to your ways. My delight I will not forget the word. A reading from Mark, verses 1 through 8 and 17 through 21. Now, when the Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered, gathered around him, they, they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with defiled hands, that is, without washing them. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they thoroughly wash their hands, thus observing the tradition of the elders. And they do not eat anything from the market unless they wash it. And there are also many other traditions that they observe, the washing of cups, pots, and bronze kettles. So the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, why do your disciples not live according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? He said to them, 
Isaiah prophesies rightly about you hip- hypocrites, as it is written. These people honors, this people's honors me with the lips, but their lips are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching human precepts as doctrines. You abandon the commandment of God and hold to human tradition. Then he said to them, you have a fine way of rejecting the commandment of God in order to keep your tradition. For Moses said, honor your father and your mother, and whoever speaks evil of father or mother must surely die. But you say that if anyone tells father or mother, whatever support you might have had from me is Corban, that is, an offering to God. Then you no longer permit doing anything for a father or mother, thus making void the word of God through your tradition that you have handled on. And, and you do many things like this. Then he called the crowd again and said to them, Listen to me, all of you, and understand, there is nothing outside a person that by going in can defile, but the things that come out are what defile. When he le- had left the crowd and entered the house, his disciples asked him about the parable. He said to them, then do, then do you also to understand. Do you not see that whatever goes into a person from outside cannot defile, since it enters not the heart but the stomach and goes out into the sewer? Thus he declared all foods clean. And he said, it is what comes out of a person that defiles. For it is from within, from the human heart, that evil intentions come. Fornication, theft, murder, adultery, avarice, wickedness, deceit, licentiousness, envy, slander, pride, folly. All these evils come from within, and they defile a person. What are we filling our hearts with? shines in the darkness. And the darkness does not overcome it. <clears throat> An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth to a woman whose name was Mary. Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the chosen one of God most high. And Mary said, God, I live to do your will. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have no Have cast the mighty 
Merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Praise and thanks to you. May God create. 